In Revelation 6, we encounter something for the first time. It's the wrath of God. Now, it's something we've known about, we've wondered about, we've even questioned. If God is all-powerful, why does it seem that evil prospers? If God loves his children, why does he allow them to be persecuted by evil men? These aren't new questions. David pondered them in Psalm 10 and 22. Jesus even quoted that Psalm on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Job too asked these same questions. But here's what this chapter makes very clear. First, the only way to God the Father is through his son Jesus. Second, this age of grace, this open door will come to an end. And third, the wrath of God is more terrible than any earthly catastrophe man has ever seen. That is why Jesus himself preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But here's the good news or the gospel. God's wrath is yet to come. And today, today you still have a chance to receive Christ. Now this is how 2 Peter explains God's wrath we see in Revelation 6, but also God's patience with humanity. The present heavens and earth have been stored up for fire. They are being kept for the day of judgment when ungodly people will be destroyed. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he's being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent.